Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about my top 10 investment apps for beginners. Now, this video isn't necessarily which app has the most features or the best feature on a feature by feature comparison, but which one is best for someone that's just getting started with investing. So for example, I use TD Ameritrade's Think or Swim app, and I think it's a really great app. It's probably the best or one of the best applications that you can use to trade. But for most beginners, all of the features that are available on there, and there are hundreds, if not thousands of features on the Think or Swim app, the majority of those you will never use as a beginner investor, or maybe even if you've been investing for 10, 20, 30 years. So because of that, that's an example of one application that's actually not included in my top 10. So there are three main criteria that the apps have to meet or they meet the majority of these three and that's access to free trading, options for fractional share trading, and also the user experience of the app. And it also has to be a mobile-based app that you can use on your Android or your iPhone device. Because this is the Mobile Money Nation, we're all about what we can do on our mobile phone in order to invest better or handle our finances better in our lives. So let's get started. Coming in at number 10 is the First Trade app. Now, First Trade is a free trading application. However, it does not have access to trading with fractional shares. But the app is very easy to use and you can actually do options trade through the First Trade app. And options trading is very advanced. However, they make it very easy to understand and easy to select the different options trading that you may use. And so if this is something that you may want to do in the future, although you're just getting started with investing now, or you're just looking for a simple app to use, that is an option to trade options in the future. And when you sign up for the first trade account, you do actually receive a free share of stock. So make sure you use the referral link in this video if you decide to sign up for first trade. Coming in at number nine is the Stockpile app. Now the Stockpile app is actually the only application that doesn't have free trading. And there are a lot of features that I do like about this app, which is why it still made the top 10. One of the main reasons is that you do have access to fractional share trading. And that means you can buy a piece of a stock with as little as $5. And the app is very easy to use. They actually have an option for you to sign up for your kid. So if you have a child and you would like to create an account for them, but you don't want them to have full access to do all of the trades and make the transactions where they're actually handling the money, they actually provide a feature that allows the kid to select what they actually want to buy. And then it goes through an approval process through your login. That way you can approve any purchases that they make via a stockpile and what they charge for trading it's only 99 cents so it's not that high so that's another great thing compared to some of the apps or some of the platforms that may still charge a fee and another great thing that I really like about stockpile is that you can actually buy gift cards for stock so let's say you wanted to give instead of giving Nike shoes at Christmas or for a birthday you can actually give a Nike gift card for stock via the stockpile app and you can buy this either through their website or on the Stockpile app. And there are also some stores like Target and Walmart, which may carry their gift cards as well. Coming in at number eight is the Cash App. Now, most of you may know Cash App as a application that you can use to transfer money to and from your friends and family, because that's how Cash App first got started. And then Cash App also added the feature where you could buy and sell cryptocurrency. And just in the past year, they now added the option to buy fractional shares of stock. And now the Cash App it is probably the easiest to use application on this top 10. In fact, it's so easy that there aren't very many features as far as trading. And so that's why it doesn't come higher on this list because the amount of features available in the Cash App are so minimal, yet they make it so easy for anyone to get started buying fractional shares of stock with just as little as $1. And if you don't already use the Cash App, either for trading stock or for money transfers, if you use the referral link in the description, you get a free $5 bonus the first time you transfer money to a friend or a family member. Coming in at number seven is one of the larger companies within this top 10, and that is Fidelity. Fidelity is one of the biggest investment apps or investment platforms 
basically financial companies in the world. And this is one of the financial companies or banks that many of you probably already heard of compared to some of the other apps that I'm gonna mention in this top 10. Because if you have a 401k or if you've ever had one, it was probably with Fidelity. They are the number one 401k account holder. In fact, if you type in 401k.com, it will take you to Fidelity's website. And just recently, maybe a couple of months ago, they added the feature of fractional trading, which many of the big companies didn't have, but now they're one of the few larger investment companies that allows you to buy fractional shares. And not only that, but they now also offer free trading. So you can buy and sell stocks for free, and you can also buy partial shares. Coming in at number six is another large company, and it is Charles Schwab. And like I mentioned, very similar to Fidelity is one of the largest financial services companies in the world. So large, in fact, that recently they actually acquired TD Ameritrade. And so while these two companies have not fully merged together, if you were to use the Charles Schwab app, you would actually have access to purchase partial shares on their platform. Now, I do expect that they'll eventually have that feature available through the TD Ameritrade or the Thinkorswim app as well. But currently, since they haven't fully merged, Charles Schwab is the one to go with if you want access to fractional shares. Not only that, but Charles Schwab was the first large financial services company to actually offer free trading. As soon as they made the announcement that they were gonna offer free trading, TD Ameritrade followed behind them, E-Trade, Fidelity, and a few other of the larger investment platforms. And now while they weren't the first of any of these apps to become a free trading app, because they're so big of a company, all of the other big companies had to follow suit and had to follow the model that some of the other platforms were already using prior to Charles Schwab. And coming in at number five is the Webull app. Webull is becoming a increasingly popular trading app. One of the reasons is that you can buy shares at no charge. And in addition to being able to trade, buy and sell stocks for no charge, you can also do options trading on their platform and there's no fee for that as well. And so this is one of the platforms that you can probably grow with if you do plan on doing any more advanced trading or investing in your future. And you can do that through the options trading on their platform. And Webull is one of the only three apps that I'm gonna mention in this top 10. The first one I mentioned was First Trade at number 10 that actually give you the option to trade options. And if you use my referral link in the description down below, you actually have the opportunity to receive free two shares of stock if you deposit at least $100 when you first sign up. And those two shares combined could be valued between $8 all the way up until $1,400 for your two free shares. And of course the amounts are chosen at random and or the specific stocks that you receive as free stocks, they're chosen at random. Coming in at number four is the SoFi Invest app. Now SoFi Invest is part of the SoFi account family. SoFi was first introduced to us as a student loan provider and a provider of student loan refinancing. They have since branched out to not only providing loans for student loans, but mortgages, personal loans. They also have their own cash management account and they offer insurance via the SoFi app. Now, in addition to all of that, you can use SoFi Invest to purchase shares of stock for free, and they also provide fractional share investing. And this app has a really nice user experience. It's very simple to use. They only give you the information that you need, which allows someone that's just starting to invest to learn quickly and not be bogged down by many hundreds or thousands of features that you could have in an investing app. And with SoFi Invest, their current sign-up bonus is that if you deposit at least $1,000 in your SoFi Invest account, you will receive a $50 bonus of stock. So they would give you a free share of stock and that free share will be valued at $50. So if you think about it, that's an immediate 5% return on your money just by depositing that initial $1,000 into your account. And SoFi Invest also allows you to trade cryptocurrencies. You can open an IRA on their platform, whether traditional or Roth. And they also have an automated investing option on their platform as well. Coming in at number three is actually probably the most popular app on this top 10, and that is Robinhood. Now, while Robinhood is one of the most popular apps, it is also one of the oldest apps to offer free trading. And so when people think about free trading applications, Robinhood is usually the first one to come to someone's mind. And while they weren't the first to provide this option, they are the most popular of the free trading apps. 
And in addition to free trading, you also have options trading that's available on the platform. You also have margin trading through their Robinhood Gold, which is a subscription service. You also have fractional share trading, which isn't available to everyone yet on the platform, but it is slowly being rolled out to the many users of the Robinhood app. And in addition to that, they have their cash management account. You can actually get a high yield savings account so that you can gain money on any cash that you hold within your Robinhood app. And of course, when you sign up with Robinhood, you actually get a free share of stock as well that is randomly selected. And there's no deposit required in order to receive that free share of stock. Coming in at number two is the public app. Now the public investing app provides you with free trading, provides you with fractional share trading, and also provides you with a cash management account. And the public app has a really super simple user experience. It's a very clean app to use, and it's actually kind of like a social media app as well. Within the app, you can actually share your trades with other people that you can follow or that can follow you, and then that way you can see what other things other people are buying on the platform. And when you sign up for this app, you do get a bonus of up to $50 of a slice of stock. And a slice of stock is what they call their fractional shares, so you're buying a piece of a stock, and that could be one of nine choices that are available on their platform. And so when I signed up and I got the free slice, I actually chose JP Morgan. It was one of the nine options. I don't recall what the other options were, but they were all companies that I had heard of in the past. Now, as I mentioned, you also have a cash management account, so you can earn interest on the cash that you hold in your account. And in fact, out of the top 10, and probably out of many checking and savings account right now, because of the fact that the Fed has lowered the interest rates so low, many of their interest rates that you receive, whether it's Robinhood or any of the other apps that I mentioned in this video, they have a very small interest rate. However, with the public app, they have not changed their interest rate in over a year. And so you actually get a 2.5% interest rate on any cash that you hold in that account. So even if you weren't to use this app as your main investment app, you could use it as your savings account for up to $10,000 in the account. So anything above $10,000, you wouldn't receive any interest on. So I wouldn't recommend putting more than 10,000 if you have that available. But it's definitely a great place to hold your emergency fund if it's below $10,000 or any extra cash that you have so that you can get that 2.5% interest rate. And who knows how long this is going to last, especially with the stock market down 30% and the Fed has already reduced it to almost zero as far as interest rates. And so there's a chance that this could change, but since it hasn't changed over the four times that the Federal Reserve has changed the interest rate over the past year, I don't expect it to change anytime soon, but you never really know. And coming in at number one is the M1 Finance app. And the M1 Finance app is the number one app that I consider for people who are beginners in investing. And here's why. With M1 Finance, you have free trading, you have fractional share trading, and it is a very simple app to use. But not only that, you can invest automatically with as little as $10. So with N1 Finance, they have what you call a pie, and a pie is essentially basically like a fund. So you can choose up to 100 individual stocks or funds or expert pies that are created by M1 Finance. And so some of the example of expert pies on their platform is that you can follow billionaire investors like Warren Buffett, Carl Icahn, Bill Ackman, who has been in the news lately a lot because of his CNBC interview where he was talking about the coronavirus and some people believe it created a big scare. And there are other billionaire pies that are created in the M1 Finance app as well. But essentially what they do is that when all of these billionaires or these big time investors, every quarter they have to document publicly any of the stocks that they bought or sold throughout the year. And so while they only have to do it every 90 days, that allows a regular person to go on the SEC website and determine what these big investors are actually putting their money in so that if they want, they can follow what they're investing. And so M1 Finance makes it very easy to where they're actually going and checking to see what changes were made in these billionaires' platforms. And then they have a specific pie that follows their investment strategy. But not only that, they have very simple pies like you can have an aggressive pie or you can have a very conservative pie that invests in index funds and other ETFs. Or you can pick your own individual ETFs, index funds, or individual stocks and create your own pie. 
And so the main feature that I really like about M1 Finance is that you can automate everything. You can make a deposit either weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, and you can set it up to where as long as you have at least $10 in your account, it will automatically make the purchases that you created within your pie. And so with all of the other apps in this top 10, if you're buying individual stocks or ETFs, although you may be able to make an automatic deposit into your account, you still have to log into the app and actually make the purchase of the stock or the ETF that you want to buy. But M1 Finance automates it completely. You can set whatever threshold you want, but the minimum threshold is at least $10 in your account and they will make that purchase. But if you want, you can set it to $20 or $50, $100 or $1,000. It doesn't really matter. Whatever threshold you choose, they will automatically make the purchase once you're over that threshold. And so this makes it a great set and forget it investment option, which is what I think is the best for any investor that is a beginner. And so I actually have an M1 Finance Pie for the Mobile Money Nation, where I post on my Instagram each month I make a deposit. I started off with just $50 per month last year, and then this year I started doing $100 per month in the M1 Finance Pie that I created. And so if you wanna check that out and keep up with it monthly, I post it out on my Instagram, at AJ Mobile Money. So that is my top 10 for investment apps for beginners. Now if you think another application or another platform should have been in the top 10, or if you don't like the order or think, another app should have been number one or number two or whatever the case may be make sure you leave a comment below and tell me why or why not the app that you like should or should not be number one all right thanks for watching this video i really appreciate you taking this time out of your day if you're not a member of the mobile money nation all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below hit the like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time i create a video again thanks for watching have a great day